Hi y'all. So today is Monday, August 28th, and I'm at mile 966 on this walk from Mexico to Canada, and at a total mileage of 7,658. Fuck yeah, fuck yeah. And I'm uh, smoking up before I start making my way on. It's about 6.30 in the morning, and I left out of my sight about an hour ago. I'm sitting here at the camp entrance just smoking up. I don't know exactly how far I'm going to go today. Uh, Port Orford is seven miles. There's a park there I might be able to stealth camp in. Mm, but I'm trying to get further. That's why I'm up at the butt crack of dawn. <laughs> um, there's another state park. That's about 15 miles, 16 miles from here, but it's about four miles off the road. So uh, I might go there and I might not. It will all depend on how I'm feeling about 10, 11 miles in. Uh, and then Bandon, that's where I'm trying to get to, but that's looking like 27, 28 miles. I've never done that many miles in a day. And I would have had to leave here a few hours ago if I was even going to really try. But who knows? We'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling about mile 11 or so. Yeah. So I don't know. It's kind of looking like Cape Blanco is where I'm going to go stay at tonight. Whether I'll actually stay at the hiker biker site or not, that I don't know. Um because the park itself is a couple miles long. So I might just decide to get into the park, find a spot to hide out, stay for the night, and get out. Um, then again, there might not be a spot, or I might be filling up to walking the extra hour or two to get to the actual campsite. The views will be great. So, yeah, yeah, I have no idea how today is going to go, but I'm smoking up, trying to get this body ready for whatever the adventure has in store for me today. Uh, all right, this is about done, and I got miles to get. All right, and on I go. Let's go see what magic I can find today.
freaking sweet. Humans with wings, y'all, humans with wings. So I stopped at the camp host to pay for my campsite. And then I, I picked up some firewood and they're like, here, you can even take the dolly, wheel the wood over. I'm like, fuck yeah. And they're like, and just leave it. We'll pick the dolly up a little bit later on. Right on, right on. And so, was chatting with them, telling them about like how far I walked today and everything. And was talking about the Oregon Coastal Trail. And they're like, yeah, that's right out here. I'm like, on the beach. I'm like, is it possible to walk the beach from here all the way to Bandon? And they just told me that their daughter likes to go on backpacking excursions. And one of the ones that she did was walking the beach from here to Bandon. So they're gonna talk with her about it and get me some more info. And uh, that might be my route to get to Bandon. I can easily camp on the beach along the way. Fuck yeah, fuck yeah. Oh, and that's not even all of it. But wait, there's more. Yeah, so I was asked, do you like eggs? I'm like, yeah. How about eggs for breakfast? Like an egg cheese sandwich for breakfast. Fuck yeah. He's like, what time do you get up? I'm like, I don't know, seven, eight o'clock. Says, all right, well, you got breakfast. Fuck yeah, guys, fuck yeah. Humans with wings, I'm telling you. Magic everywhere I go, everywhere I am for over 7,600 miles. Fuck yeah. Keep watching, I'll keep showing it to you. Hi y'all, so today is August 29th and I'm at mile 983 on this walk from Mexico to Canada and at a total mileage of 
675. Fuck yeah, fuck yeah. And I'm here in Cape Blanco State Park. Yeah, I did 17 miles yesterday. Ugh, about five miles from this place, I fucking twisted my ankle. So it's a bit swollen right here. Son of a bitch. Ugh. Oh, I'm glad to be having a rest day today, and I might have to take a rest day tomorrow. Fuck, that was not in my plan. But I'm in a great spot, and there's amazing people all around here. As a matter of fact, take a look at this. I just got brought breakfast. Also, because their daughter goes on these kind of adventures as well, they totally hooked me up <laughs> with some grub last night and then told me that they were going to bring me breakfast this morning. And, and, uh, just looked at me and he's like, uh, pasta and salad good tonight? I'm like, fuck yeah, it is. <laughs> fuck yeah, it's fucking cooked hot food. Fuck yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, damn. So, yeah, it sucks my ankle's fucked up, but I'm in a good place. I'm surrounded by good people. What more could I fucking really want? Ah, uh, well, to be able to walk on my foot so I can go explore this big-ass park. There's a lighthouse. It's like a half a mile or a mile away. There's amazing views all around and the beach. So today I'm just going to hang out at the campsite, keep my foot elevated, and uh, stay off of it. Hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to get up super early and start making my way to Bandon. But if not, then hopefully tomorrow... I feel a little bit enough to go explore a bit. So we'll see, we'll see. All right, I need to wolf down this food before it gets cold. And here is tonight's dinner, courtesy of a couple of humans with wings. And I tell you, I can't show it fast enough. It's every single day, no matter where I go. Um, just amazing humans. And this is going to be so good. This is going to be so good. Especially with my ankle fucking with me. I'm not trying to cook up anything. I'm not trying to deal with anything other than smoking a bunch of weed and dealing with videos. Trying to get my mind off the damn ankle. So, uh... To have a really good healthy meal come my way. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. There's a horse camp over there. So I get to fall asleep to the sounds of hooting owls and horses. So today is August 30th, and I'm at mile 983 on this walk from Mexico to Canada, and at a total mileage of 7,675. And I'm taking another rest day here. My ankle still isn't fully up to par. And uh, yeah, yeah, I totally can use one more day of rest. I might be able to actually walk on it with my pack tomorrow. So that's my hope, that's my hope. Anyhow, this morning, the magic's already started. Here, take a look at this. And this is breakfast. Pancakes, eggs, bacon, and coffee. So I'm gonna wolf this down. I'm gonna work on some more videos and uh, get myself prepared to head on out tomorrow. Uh, what I'm gonna try to do is tomorrow, I'm gonna try to walk about 10 miles and then catch a bus to a friend's house and then my sister's in Eugene and hang out there for a few days because I'm scheduled to go down to California, pick up my long lost backpack, all my hard drives and my journals and bring them back up to Eugene. And then I'll come back to the road and continue on. And the way it's looking is I should be able to get back to the spot that I leave from tomorrow pretty easily and a few extra days of rest on my ankle, definitely gonna be um, helpful, helpful. All right, well, I'm gonna wolf this down and uh, go just chill out for the rest of the day.
All right, let's look at this. And under the first one. Oh, hell yeah. Oh my God. Oh, hell yeah. This is gonna be so good. It's gonna be so good. And under this one. Yup. Hell yeah. This is going to be an awesome dinner. This is going to be an awesome dinner. All packed up. And it's slightly raining. And right there we have a rainbow. So today is August 30th and I'm at mile 983 on this walk from Mexico to Canada and at a total mileage of 7,675. Hell yeah. And it's like seven o'clock in the morning and I'm just now leaving Cape Blanco State Park. Um, yeah, I'm having two days to rest this ankle. Hell yeah, I really needed it. Uh, and now I got 10 miles until I reach the Port Orford Bandon KOA. And that's where I'm gonna get picked up at by the bus. I'm gonna get bus all the way out to Reedsport tonight, stay at my friend's house. And then tomorrow I'm gonna bus to Eugene and uh it's freaking raining and i got miles to do so i need to strap this pack on and get going I made it about 11 miles to Denmark, Oregon. I'm right across the street from the Jensen Blueberry Farm and just north of the KOA. So that puts me at mile 994 on this walk from Mexico to Canada and at a total mileage of 7,686. Hell yeah. Oh. 
I'm waiting on the bus. It should be here in about five minutes. I'll be glad to get the fuck out of the way. Oh, yeah. And as always, where are you? It's your hit. Don't make me smoke all this weed by myself. Find me, follow me, see where I am. Come out and walk one mile with me and I will show you magic. And this is breakfast, pancakes, eggs, bacon, and coffee. Much love and much peace, you all. Well, I made it to Reed Sport. Hell yeah. Now I'm off to my friend's house and I'm gonna chill for the night. Hi y'all, so today is September 13th and I'm at mile 994 on this walk from Mexico to Canada and at a total mileage of 7,686. Hell yeah. Now I'm here in Eugene getting ready to catch the bus back to Reed Sport tonight and then tomorrow I'll be down in Denmark continuing this walk. Fuck yeah. Uh, it's been awesome being able to come here, hang out with my sister and the kids, was able to get another safe, went down to California, got my backpack, all my journals and hard drives are here safe in one spot. Hell yeah. So now I'm about to catch this bus. Finally, someone let me out of my cage. Time for me is nothing because I'm cop no age. Now I could be dead. Now I should be scared. I'm good at repairs and I'm under each snare. It's tangible. Bet you didn't think so I can manage it panoramic you got make it all manageable pick and choose sit and lose all your different crews chicks and dudes who you think is really kicking tunes picture you getting down and i'll picture too like you let the fuse think it's magical mystical maybe a spiritual hero who appears to you to clear you and go on to crazy life was a definition of what life is priceless because i put you on that hype shit you like it got smoking right just with one toe psychic among those possess you with one dose a happy feeling glad i got sunshine in a bag i'm useless but not long my future is coming on i ain't happy been feeling glad i got sunshine in a bag i'm useless but not long my future is coming on it's coming on it's coming on when the dam breaks open many years too soon And if there is no room upon the hill And when the tangerine starts playing different tunes I see you on the dark side of the moon My head, 
<laughs> the lunatics are in my head You raise the blade You make the change You rearrange me till I'm sane And uh, what's your name again? Charlie Charlie E-Y, number 90 Right on, right on Hey, thank you Thank you so much, man